Hello folks, Mundane Man here again, and we have a toilet that won't stop running in our ensuite bathroom. So, I put in a fix, but apparently it wasn't appropriate if you look at what I've done here. That works just fine to me, but apparently that is not an appropriate way to fix a toilet. I think it's a fine solution, but apparently it is not. So, uh, we're going to change out the uh, float fill valve, which is uh, this model right here, the Fluid Master, a 400 AC. And we're working on a American Standard toilet with the uh, double flush mechanism there. And this guy here is the thing that we're going to replace. So it is catching in here and there's probably a calcium buildup with our hard water that's causing this float to stick. So we're going to change that out today. So let's get at it. Okay, the first thing we're going to do is shut off the water to the toilet. We have a shut off valve right at the toilet. And I think it's pretty much standard practice that there should be a shut off at your toilet. If not, you'll have to turn off the water to your house. And let's flush it and empty the tank out. And without the water on, the, the tank won't start filling up. So because there's still a bit of water in the tank, it's a good idea maybe just to throw a towel here, catch some of that water that's going to come out, and then we're going to remove the uh, water line that's going into the toilet. Now, it's fairly easy to do. It's a thumb wheel. No tools required on this part of the job. A little bit of water in the hose. Nothing came out of the tank yet though, but when we take this uh, nut off, it's going to probably spill out. So this one up here is a little bit harder to turn. Let's see if I can get it with my hand. Nope. So I'm going to have to get some channel lock pliers in there to loosen that off. Certainly not the easiest location to get at this. Okay, we get that loosened off. We'll take that nut all the way off here. Wasn't that easy to get at, I'm going to tell you that for sure. There we go. Now from the top side, we have the bowl fill hose we need unplugged there. And then we're just going to lift that out and then the rest of the water that's in the tank comes a, a flushing out. So if you can get a, a bucket in there that would be better but uh, I had to use a towel because I couldn't get one to fit very well. And you can see it draining out the bottom there. Mop up that water. If it comes through the ceiling downstairs, I will not be a happy camper. Okay, that's our old uh, fill valve there. Now, because these are a universal fit, I want to make sure that number one, I got the right unit, and number two, uh, if there's adjustments to be made, um, I can make them. And because I think you can change the height of these valves to fit varying toilets. So as you can see, this one's quite a bit shorter than my old one. So if I put it there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to extend this down so it matches the length of uh, this valve here. And to do that, you just turn out uh, the leg on here to uh, you know, basically it's threaded to spin it out so you can make it the same length as that one. You're going to turn this counterclockwise 
and then just compare the two of them to make sure they're the same length. Okay, there you go. I spun it out and you can see now they're both pretty much the same length. And it's just going to go back in the toilet the way it came out. So this rubber gasket stays on the inside like that old one did. And it comes with a thumb wheel to, um, you know, screw the, the valve back into the bottom of the toilet. Not as good as the original one, which was a, a regular uh, nut. I might use this one again. Just seems a little bit more sturdy. And again, that's the, the downside with using a universal part. Uh, and this part is the Fluid Master 400 AC. Okay, down into the toilet tank it goes, like that. And where is the, that's where the uh, bowl fill hose will go. So and you can see that orange gasket down there is what seals up the tank uh, so you don't have water dripping out the bottom side. So I'm just going to thread that nut back on. Okay, it feels like it's tight enough. So let's spin the uh, water line back on. And that's generally just needs to be hand tight. Okay, water line's on, valve is in. Next step is we need to put the hose on that goes to fill the bowl. This does move around a bit because you're able to adjust it. And hopefully it's clearing the tank lid there. Okay, this hose goes on the little nub on the side of the valve and then back on the hose that fills the toilet bowl. Okay, let's turn the water back on and see if we got any leaks. Bowl is filling. Come down here and feel for water. Make sure everything's dry before you start. And the tank is filling up. And this uh, adjustment here will adjust how high the water in the tank fills up. Um, it shows um, that you should be 3 8 inch below uh, the top. And I assume the top means the top of the foam because it is an insulated uh, tank. But you can adjust this to add more water into the uh, tank if you want, if you find you're not getting a good flush. Okay, so the level of the water is a little bit higher. I did, on, on this gray knob, you can see plus and minus there. I did raise a level a bit by turning that knob towards the plus, and it just allows this uh, float valve to come up a little bit later so that more water is in the bowl. So it, the float will come up just a little bit higher, and it makes sure you get a full flush. And not too many people know that this is how the bowl gets filled uh, after you flush the toilet is it's trickling water into the uh, bowl valve um, while the tank is filling and on your dual flush toilets this is uh, the varying uh, styles of flush you want like basically number one and number two and uh, depending on which one you press is how far that valve will go down and how much water it'll allow into the bowl Obviously the number two button will allow more water in to push out debris, we can say. Okay, let's put the lid of the tank back on, give it another flush just to make sure it's still working with the lid on, and that could be this job done. I placed it conveniently in the sink here. Be careful you don't drop it. Porcelain breaks. There we 
we go. Let's give it the number two flush and see what happens. Perfect. Double check for leaks. Dry. Dry down here. Everything's nice and tight. And because we pushed the number two, more water needs to go into the tank. So it's still running here. And hopefully it stops. There we go. Well, I guess I can take off my, uh, my temporary fix, if you will. Okay, so that was changing the fill valve in an American Standard toilet. Like I said, this fill valve probably uh, can be used in multiple different brands of toilets. Let me check the box here. Because sometimes it tells you what it can go into. Nope, the box doesn't really say uh, which styles of toilets it can go into, but if the fill valve on your toilet looks the same as on ours, it's probably the right part. And because the valve is universal, it's adjustable to accommodate different tank sizes. You might have a low profile tank that's wider or something, and this valve may work, but just double check. You can always get onto the interwebs and Google it, and it'll tell you for sure if uh, it's a, the proper one for your toilet. So that's it for this edition of Mundane Man, where we change the fill valve on this toilet. If you like this kind of video, don't be afraid to like, comment, subscribe, share, all those good things. Hit the notification bell if uh, you want to get notified of any other videos. But that's it for now. Bye bye